guys welcome back so we're gonna fix this visor because it's not holding up when you open it so I've been using this one for like three years and as you can tell it's not holding still because of the base plate that's been worn out so the base plate is located right here so we're gonna replace it with a new one this is the result after replacing a new one so as you can tell you can see it's good as new it's holding up and that's the way it should be so we're gonna walk you through how to replace it this is a very easy fix so we're just gonna replace it so we're gonna remove the visor first so this part right here is the one that connects to the base plate so we're gonna set this aside so we're gonna remove the left part first so you cannot tell it physically that it's already worn out but you cannot differentiate it because the new one looks very similar but once you use it at the time you can tell that it's already worn out because it's not holding still so we're gonna use an allen screw for this one like so It's very dusty, so we need to clean this up first. You can tell that it's very dusty. Race this part right here. Now it's time to install the base plate. This is the old base plate, which has a stock plate behind it, and this is the new one. So it does not have a plate behind like so. So we're gonna install it at the stock one now it's installed it so it's very quick and easy so just put it right back in like so and put the stock screws right back Right, that's done so now let's do the other side this right here is the old one this is a new one as you can see this is very loose so you can turn this with your bare hands this one right here it's not possible to turn it with your bare hands it's very hard hard and stiff now the plates are already installed let's put back the visor in right now it's working as it should and that's it guys it's an easy fix. Thank you for watching and see you on the next vid. Keep safe.